In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to take numbers that are written in standard form and express them in scientific notation. Now, to help us write numbers in scientific notation, what we have here on the side are different powers of 10. Now, remember, a power of 10 is simply the result of multiplying 10 by itself. So 10 is raised to some exponent. Part of expressing numbers in scientific notation is taking advantage of these powers of 10. But let's understand we do not have to memorize these powers of 10. This is just to help us understand scientific notation a little bit better. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to express 1,500,000 in scientific notation. Now, one way to do this is by writing the number that is in standard form and then putting a decimal at the very end of that number. And then what we have to do is we have to move that decimal within the number to a location where in the front of that decimal, you have a value that is only a single digit, that digit being a number one all the way through the, the number nine. Now you cannot have a double digit in that position before the decimal. It has to be one point something or two point something, so forth, all the way to nine point something. So for this to be true, we would have to move our decimal in this location. Now, after moving your decimal, what you wanna do is see how many place values you moved in order to get to that location. So we started here and we ended up here, meaning we skipped over six place values. So what we do then is we just write 1.5. And when all you have left are ending zeros, you can drop those ending zeros. And you always write times 10. And the exponent will represent how many place values that you skipped over to get to the new location, which in this case is the sixth power. So 1,500,000 in scientific notation is 1.5 times 10 to the sixth power. Now, if we take a look at our list of powers of 10, we have 10 to the sixth power right here, which is equal to 1 million. So basically this expression here reads one and a half or one and five tenths times one million. Now, when our number was in standard form, notice that the largest place value we had was in the millions. And 10 to the sixth power is equal to 1 million. And that is why in our answer, we have times 10 to the sixth power. Now let's say the largest place value was in the 10 millions, then our answer would have 10 to the seventh power. Let's say our largest place value was in the billions, then our answer would have 10 to the ninth power in it and so on. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at an example when the number given is less than the number one. All right, so now what we have to do is take five millions and express that in scientific notation. Now with the previous example, we were dealing in millions and that is 10 to the sixth power. And now we are dealing with millions, which is 10 to the negative sixth power. So we already know that our answer is going to have 10 to the negative sixth power in it. So what we do is we take our number, which is in standard form, and we have to move our decimal so there is a single digit to the left of our decimal. And that digit has to be a one through the number nine. And we would have to move this decimal all the way to the end of this value. So we have five point nothing. Now, to get our decimal from this location to that location, we would have to jump over six numbers, which means our exponent is going to have a six in it. Now, because we are dealing with a value that is less than one, our exponent is going to be negative. So we would write times 10 to the negative six and our coefficient in the front is going to be five. So when the number in standard form that you are starting with is less than the number one, that is gonna indicate right away that your exponent is going to be a negative exponent. Now, if we take a look at this expression right here, we really have five being multiplied by 10 to the negative six power, which is equal to one million. So if we were to write this as a fraction, it would look like this, one over one million. And when we multiply a number by a fraction, we can express the whole number as a fraction. Now we can multiply straight across and five times one is five and one times one million is one million. And that is exactly what we started off with, five 
millions written as a decimal looks like this. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, we have to express 3 billion, 50 million in scientific notation. Now, because our greatest place value is in the billions place, that means that we are going to have 10 to the ninth power in our answer. Now, normally you are not going to have access to this right here. You can always write this list out so you have it at your disposal. However, you really don't need this right here, but this is just here so you can have a better understanding of scientific notation. So let's say you didn't have this uh, list here of powers of 10. What you would do is you would just take your number, which is in standard form, and you would move your decimal to the correct location. Now, if there's no decimal in the number, just place one at the end to start with, and then move it to where it needs to go. Now, to get from here all the way to here, we would have to move nine powers of 10. So what we would do is we would write three point. Now you write everything after the decimal until everything is just ending zeros. So you have to write the zero here, and then you have to write this five. And now we can stop because everything after the five are ending zeros. And then we always write a base of 10, and the exponent represents how many place values you had to move across, and that would be nine place values. So another way to say this is 3.05 times 1 billion. So if we were to multiply this by 1 billion, that would give us 3 billion 50 million. All right, let's do one last example. All right, right away with this value, we should understand that our answer is going to have a negative exponent. So let's take our decimal, which is right here, and move it to the correct position, which would be right here. Because remember, we want to move that decimal so we have a single digit directly to the left of that decimal. So we would rewrite this as 6.02 times 10 to the negative. Well, we had to skip over a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 place values. So that would be 10 to the negative 6 power. And that is all there is to it. All right, so a couple of basics that we should remember. If the value that you start with is greater than 1, then your answer is going to have a positive exponent. And if you are starting with a number that is less than 1 or some fractional value, 0 point anything, then that is going to indicate that your answer is going to have a negative exponent in it. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new videos to my channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.